Your departure causes us great sorrow. Only the Great Spirit knows when we'll meet again. Thank you for your hospitality. We thank you for bringing us the message of the Great Spirit. May you treasure his message in the bottom of your heart. It will help you overcome your difficulties. We know, Pocahontas, and we're grateful that you came to see us. Yes, Pocahontas, we thank you. Once again, we have hope in our hearts. May the Great Spirit watch over you. The Council of Chiefs has chosen these young warriors to accompany you. They will represent our people. We are deeply touched by your offer. Go spread your message as far as you can, and know that our thoughts are always with you. Take with you Eel, a brave warrior from the land near the Great Water, where the reindeer run. It is a great honor to follow Pocahontas. And this is Nui. Hello. He is very brave and will be of great service to you. He is also my nephew and the best sled driver in the tribe, Pocahontas. Thank you. Let's hope he's a little more modest about his skills than Mach. If there weren't so many people around, I'd shove those words down your throat. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Mutlik comes from the great island to the east. He's the last of the men we've chosen to accompany you. You will have a lot in common with him. He's always been a fervent champion of peace among our people. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll do everything to help you. My mission and your mission are one and the same. You hear the way he said that? Your mission is my mission, and my mission is your mission. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow Wolf, your words make no sense. Look, you would be wise to meditate on the flight of the eagle. Goodbye, my friends. Farewell. May the Great Spirit go with you always. We've come across a very plentiful region. It's ready. I find the moon as beautiful as the sun. Yes, here out west it seems to shine more brightly. Not what he's trying to tell us? Go back to meet up with the sacred animals. They'll catch up again with us this evening. It's comforting to know they're out there watching over us. 
Usually when the animals aren't around, it means we're safe, but... You've got a funny feeling too, Opio? Yes. Watch out! The river's full of tree trunks! <laughs> Make for the bank! Somebody's trying to sink us! Oh. Uh, uh. Look! Those are Kutchin warriors! Paddle the canoes around into the current! It's our only chance! Make for that bay over there! Keep your eyes open. How's your shoulder? All right. The arrow only grazed me. What do we do? We've got to hunt down the Kutchin. Wait here. I'll be back. Mark and I will go scouting. You stay here to protect Pocahontas. That's pointless. I know how to protect myself. I know you do, but we can't leave the canoes unguarded. Someone might steal them. Oh. The last thing they'll expect is an attack from the rear. Come on, let's go! Be careful! Huh? There they are! Pocahontas, they're closing in on all sides. Find some place to hide. No, we'll face them together, Happy Ho. running away let's make sure they don't come back <laughs> let's get back to the beach we've got to find out what happened to Pocahontas and Hoppy Ho let's hope the Kutchin aren't there already right come on the sooner we find out the better Once again, we owe our lives to the sacred animals. Pocahontas! Happy Ho! Answer me! Where are you? Are you all right? Oh. Oh. Mark! Mark! Are you all right? You see, we won! <laughs> I was so scared. As long as your Mohican warrior watches over you, you'll be safe and sound. Jokes are all very well, Mark, but what if you were really wounded? We don't think he was joking. <laughs> That'll teach you to scare me half to death. <laughs> <laughs>
don't worry, Yellow Wolf. Those aren't Kutchin. Those are Kree. Those are my people. <laughs> We welcome you and your companions, Pocahontas. I am Kulchilun, chief of this village. We're glad to be here. We received a messenger from the tribes in the east announcing your arrival. We thought we'd be here sooner, but we had trouble along the way. That gave me plenty of time to gather here all the tribes in the region to welcome you. You did a great job. Congratulations. If you are ready, I will accompany you to the village to meet the other chiefs. Magnificent totem pole. It must have been inspired by the Great Spirit. All the people who live in this village are skilled with their hands and make fine carvings and ornaments. I've never seen such fine artwork. Oh. I see you're admiring our dress, too. For generations, our women have taken pride in their work with needle and thread. You seem to be an unusually talented tribe. You will be able to see more evidence of that during the Pachlati ceremony that will be held in your honor this evening. I imagine you are tired and hungry from your journey. You will find everything you need in this house. Thank you, Great Chief. I'm glad to see the Great Spirit has encouraged so many of you to attend this gathering. How many tribes inhabit this region, Great Chief? The Great Spirit has been generous with this land. There are about 30 tribes in all. 30 tribes? That's amazing! The land provides everything we need to live and prosper. Even in winter, we have plenty of food. We catch salmon, sturgeon, eels. Our canoes are strong enough to cross the great water. Do you go whale hunting too? That's the specialty of the Salish, the Maka, and the New Chanut. I bet they use those large canoes decorated with the painted bird. We call them whale boats. 
I'd love to go out with him one day. I see there's a fisherman among you. Yes, that's his specialty. Well, he chose the right time to be here. During the celebration tomorrow, <laughs> there'll be a competition between canoe crews. What else will happen during the celebration? Look over there. It's a totem pole contest. <laughs> to celebrate your visit, the best totem pole will have a place of honor in the village. Oh. There will be lots of activities to judge tomorrow. Take those women, for example. They're Chilkat, competing in a blanket-making contest. They will offer you the best one. That's really kind of them. I'd be very interested to see how they work. Why don't we go take a look? Before you go look at the blankets, Pocahontas, why don't we hear what the other chiefs have to say? You should listen to what you say sometimes, Two You saying I'm wrong, Yellow Wolf? No. Two Feathers right. Let's listen to the other chiefs. Well, that'll be easy enough. Here they all come now. You can listen to them one by one. It is a great pleasure to meet you. We Tlingit live further to the north, some on the mainland, some on the coastal islands, and our people are also very good with their hands. Don't your women wear a disc in their lower lip? Yes, they are very pretty, and our land is very fertile. The Tlingit are also great dancers. Look over there. Haida people are also skilled with their hands, carving not only wood, but also slate. Our canoes are renowned for their speed, and we journey across the great water. We have even visited islands where the sun shines all year long, and where mountains send rivers of fire into the great water. Do you think something like that actually Shut exists? Up, listen. Would you like to go there, Pocahontas? That's very kind of you. It would be a wonderful journey, but I'm afraid I won't have time to make it. You don't know what you're missing. We could take you there faster than you ever imagined. Oh! We are the Quackuto people. We take special care of our appearance. Our heads are formed like this from birth. <laughs> that makes you laugh, huh? <laughs> we are also very proud of our totem poles with carvings that tell the story of our families and of our religious ceremonial dances. Come on, get oh, it God, over with. There's another 26 to go. Shut up, Mark. Won't you ever learn manners? I hope you will appreciate the strength and ability of our Quackuto warriors in the canoe race tomorrow. to the Mohican. You are a real champion. Without you, my Haida warriors would never have won. Great chief. Your compliments touch my heart. <laughs> uh, well, Pocahontas, what did you think of me? Great. You're one of a kind, Mark. I want to be the best for you. It's 
such a pity that all the men in all the tribes don't possess the same qualities that you have. You'll give me a big head if you keep talking about my good qualities. It could get so big I might even explode with pride and never see your laughing eyes again. 